लंडन डिस्पर्शन फोर्सेस वेंडर वॉल्स फोर्सेस टेम्प्ररी डायपोल एंड इंड्यूस डायपोल फोर्सेस बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर्स फॉर फ्री Firstly let me teach you about temporary dipole well consider a neutral atom we know that a neutral atom electrons are equally distributed we also know that electrons are constantly revolving around the nucleus there will be a time when one side of the atom will have more electrons than other side and the structure of atom will be distorted like this Here at one side of the atom there is more electrons and at other side of the atom there is less electrons or you can say that this side is electrons deficient as a result of this this side becomes partially negative because it contains more electrons this side becomes partially positive because it contains less electrons Now this atom is a dipole because it has two poles positive pole and negative pole now there will be a time when these electrons would be again equally distributed the positive and negative poles will be vanished and this dipole will again become neutral atom so we learn that this atom instantly becomes a dipole and instantly becomes a neutral atom therefore we say that this dipole is temporary dipole thus remember that temporary dipole is a dipole when the electronic cloud of a neutral atom is distorted for a time being let me repeat it temporary dipole is a dipole when the electronic cloud of a neutral atom is distorted for a time being now let me teach you about induced dipole let consider a temporary dipole we know that temporary dipole has temporary positive pole and temporary negative pole no i bring a neutral atom near this temporary dipole here listen carefully the positive side of this temporary dipole will pull the evenly distributed electrons of this neutral atom or you can say that the positive pole of this temporary dipole will pull the electronic cloud of this neutral atom as a result of this the structure of this neutral atom will also be distorted this neutral atom becomes polarized this side contains more electron hence partially negative charge appears on it this side contains less electron or it is electron deficient hence partially positive charge appears on it now listen carefully this dipole is induced dipole because this temporary dipole induced it by disturbing the arrangement of electrons in it here we have two polarized dipoles a temporary dipole and an induced dipole now the positive end of temporary dipole attracts the negative end of induced dipole let me repeat it the positive end of temporary dipole attracts the negative end of induced dipole this attraction force between these polar molecules is called london dispersion forces or ldf london dispersion forces is also called van der waals forces note it down that london dispersion forces are weak and temporary intermolecular forces between particles thus remember that london dispersion forces are the attractive force between temporary dipole and induced dipole also you should learn that where are london dispersion forces existed well london dispersion forces exist in everything both in polar molecules like hydrogen fluoride and in non polar molecules like carbon dioxide but london dispersion forces are 
dominant intermolecular forces and all non-polar molecules. For example, London dispersion forces are dominant forces and the molecules of fluorine gas, chlorine gas, bromine water and iodine. Here, let me also give you a bonus tip. The boiling point of fluorine gas is minus 188 degrees centigrade. The boiling point of chlorine gas is minus 34 degrees centigrade. The boiling point of bromine water is 59 degrees centigrade. And the boiling point of iodine is 114 degrees centigrade. All these halogens contain London dispersion forces. Then why they have different boiling points? Well, it is because fluorine contains weak London dispersion forces and iodine contains strong London dispersion forces. There are 9 electrons in fluorine atom while there are 53 electrons in iodine atom. Less electrons mean weak London dispersion forces and more electrons mean strong London dispersion forces. In group 7, if you move down the group, the number of electrons increases successively. As a result of this, London dispersion forces also increases down the group. That is why boiling point also increases down the group. Therefore, we say that the boiling point of iodine is greater than fluorine gas. This was all about London dispersion forces and Van der Waal forces.